This episode brought to you by Honey, the easiest way to save money when you're shopping online. Hello, I'm the Nostalgia Critic. I remember it so you don't have to. Pink Floyd The Wall, or is it Pink Floyd's The Wall? I never know where to put the S there. It's an abstract musical that musician Roger Waters described as a separation between a rock star and his audience. But it's so much more than that, I think. When it came out in 1982, it got mixed reviews and did only okay at the box office. Many saw it as too pretentious and full of itself, saying it's way... It was just before dusk, one dark weekend evening, well on your way home. When all the critics told you Pink Floyd's wall was shite, when you thought that it was kinda alright, and the masses gave thanks as the movie tanked Fading into obscurity for a while The art house ego trip had fallen and slipped To the bargain bin for 393 You can use my computer to do your homework, but no looking through my desk. Got it? Good old Pink Floyd made a movie devoid of even the slightest bit of subtlety. The production was fancy. Way too damn angsty for adults to t- 
take seriously But I found it one day Behind Dad's mono stash Hidden away And my eyes still grew big At the feelings he felt I discovered I felt the same thing Kids' emotions are flawed But they nevertheless raw Felt when the wall broke free Every rock star that's wild Was a rage-driven child Like in this movie They all dream just like Floyd Most of them falling into the void And that's why I watch Despite it being so whiny You see? Attention. <laughs> What's this? <laughs> Pink Floyd. <laughs> the boy fancies himself a musician. <laughs> it's rubbish. Now what did I just say, Corey? We don't need no education. <laughs> well that's grammatically incorrect, so apparently you do need some education. <laughs> School is no laughing matter. Do you know what we teach in these walls? How to fix a car, pay your taxes, ace an interview, perform first aid, manage your insurance, cook healthy meals, or do household repairs? Preposterous! We pay other people to do those things. We teach important things you need to know in life, like algebra, trigonometry, physics, geology, sex ed. Oh, that's right, you have letters that say you don't need to learn that. Well, it shouldn't be too important, especially in the case of that kid. <laughs> do you laugh at everything? Well, anyway, continue to act like the oppressed and me the oppressor. Rock albums seem to really eat that shit up. <laughs> Welcome to high school, where all the teachers are monsters. I know it looks like they want to teach you something, but they don't. They just want to eat you up because we're evil blood-sucking vampire things. <laughs> I need more victimization. There are no good teachers, not one. Stuff to rebel. We don't want to help you, we just want to eat your blood and suck your brains. No our education system's broke. Well, maybe it's the other way around. I don't know, I got a high school education. <laughs> this is pandering like hell. Remember that one teacher who seemed cool? He wasn't, he was all part of the plan. Himself. Remember that one teacher who seemed really kind and gave you candy? Well, well, we got a another hit in the wall. That candy was really sugar-coated children's souls! LOL, so school sucks. Throw a damn pair of balls. Children's souls! We're so evil! <laughs> It's all a part of my secret plan to make sure you're more likely to get a job when you're older. Milking your blue and pity. <laughs> How terrible is that? <laughs> 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 you crazy, it's like those 90s commercials where the adults look like bad guys. Except they weren't 90s commercials, they were mini documentaries! It's all true! <laughs> hey, mothers, leave it all at me! We really don't see what makes Cinnamon Toast Crunch so great! All you know from doesn't mean much at all! Because we're old! <laughs>
World War II reference? No, it's just a bunch of kids being herded onto a train to a horrible, torturous building. Oh. Yeah, we're really comparing this to high school? No, no, it's just meant to look weird and creepy. They're not implying that. I don't know. I don't think there's a way to not connect that. Oh, come on. They're just saying school sucks. They're not making any connections to that. Now let's go on to the next song that talks about the horrors of World War II. Oh, crap. See. It's just a coincidence. Maybe. I don't know. Bye. gonna go to a slow, slow mopey song. Haven't we had enough of those? Yeah, but we have had several of them back to back, so that'll really mix things up. Watch now how I do a sad song about being cheated on. So, you're going from World War II, one of the worst things to ever happen. To bitching about your girlfriend cheating on you? Hey, it doesn't matter how I'm pained, as long as I'm torturously pained. Sounds pretty douchey, man. Yeah, pretty douchey. Hey, if someone doesn't like my artistic dive into madness caused by an affair... You mean like the room? No. Yes. Shut up. They can just skip the scene. Yeah, fair enough. Thank you. What's that person I could never see betraying me? You're betraying me? I got a lot more drawn out angst than that! Hey, so you invited me up here, what you wanna do? Just watch TV. You invited me up here to literally watch TV? I'm a successful musician with millions. How can you expect me to be happy? This is gonna be another one of those slow Moby songs, isn't it? Yes. I know that. Don't worry, I have a slow Moby song here too! <clears throat> hey you. Oh my god, doesn't this remind you of Jesus? I'm like, Jesus! I'm Jesus! Feel sorry for me! I'm Jesus! Is there anybody who cares? Wake up! Are you still awake in that chair? Just keep listening to me. Yeah, sure. 
songs back to back. Ah, oh, shit. He's watching the boring parts of the wall. Wake him up. This movie. Just a half hour more. Come on, you've got me for worse. You can't be bored while we are singing. Unless you don't want to be seen as deep. Your attention constantly. This is where I bring people that I don't want other people to see. Now sober up or have an existential conflict. Either works for me. Before I found out about Honey, seeing the promo code box at checkout stressed me out. Like, should I be typing something in there? Is there a code? Oh! Just knowing that there could be a discount out there made me worry about overpaying every time I shopped online. Thankfully, now I have Honey. It's a free browser extension that scans the internet for coupon codes, then, like magic, it automatically applies the best one to your cart at checkout. 
Honey will find you every coupon code, sale, or discount on over 20,000 sites like Amazon, eBay, Best Buy, GameStop, Newegg, <laughs> and more. So you might ask, how do I know Honey really works? Well, they've got your back. Not only did Honey test over 1 billion promo codes last year, but it actually applied 185,067,086 working codes to people's orders. Those commas mean it's a big number. Not to mention the subscribers who have already downloaded Honey saved over $83,000. That's dot 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 a lot of real life savings. With Honey, there's literally no stress when you see that promo code box at checkout. Why just look at the money I saved getting Alita Battle Angel. A movie everyone should see because it's really good and I want sequels. Go buy that after downloading Honey. In fact, use Honey. That's like two good things at once! It's good! You can download Honey right away at joinhoney.com slash nostalgia. Honey is for everyone because it works for practically anything you buy online. And downloading it is easy. It only takes two clicks to install. Look, there's really no reason not to download Honey. In fact, you can celebrate by having real Honey afterwards. But this is better than real Honey. It's free to use and easy to install on your computer in just two clicks. You can't do that with real Honey. Real Honey costs money! And it's food! Stupid food! Never overthink about the promo code box again. Get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash nostalgia. That's joinhoney.com slash nostalgia. Thanks again to Honey for sponsoring this video. And I mean the website. Not the dirty food. It comes from filthy bees butts. Go! Hey, you guys like the music in this review? Well, believe it or not, there's an album of it. I'm not even kidding. This was done by Rob Scallon, who appears in the review. He has his own YouTube channel. He's just this incredible talent. And I really think he outdid himself with this because this is just such a love letter to Pink Floyd's music and The Wall. And you can download the album in the link below. There's even songs and music that isn't in the review. It's only for the album. And it's really fantastic stuff. So go check it out, man.
that you're wrong Just fight on to the end My friend All you need to do is fight off something of Pink Floyd, The Wall has led you here. Do you now understand the deeper meaning of... Do you understand the deeper meaning of what it has to say, or... Or is it just a misguided ego trip in this self-indulgent world that we all live in? Pardon, who is it? Hello there, critic. It's Sullivan Croft. Was that all city guy? Yes, actually, um, I was, uh, is Lucy Lacemaker there? Is she there? Because I was, uh, well, so, it's just, it's just a thing of, uh, shut the fuck up. What do you mean is she there? She's a made-up character. Mm, I mean, you're not exactly giving creation all of its credit. It's not like you just shit out the Horcrux that Voldemort never meant to make. That's it, you know, there's a little more to it than that. When you make a character that looks real and feels real, well, hmm. The line tends to blur, you know. If you see it, just don't say anything stupid. Good luck, mate. Oh, that's that weird creature I've seen looming around. Yes. And when I heard you were reviewing the much-to-be-desired wall, I figured I'd throw my own tippets. Style over substance, showcasing a bunch of weird creatures and worlds. Not a drop of intellectual development. All paint, no ink. But you are a weird creature. I thought you'd be all over this. Music is one thing, film is quite another. The beauty of music is letting your mind steal itself. The beauty of cinema is taking those raw, maddening ideas and developing them. It's easy to think of a nonsensical idea. Fucking children do it. It's hard to turn those ideas into thinking, feeling, characters and worlds. And isn't that the point of a cinematic adaptation? To make a point? Well. It's clear that the music here does that fine on its own. If you're going to adapt an album into a movie, a completely different medium, I dare say, one should adapt it. Oh, so being a fully developed character, you wanted more fully developed characters. Whether I'm developed or not, it's down to the viewer, old son. But this film you have here, oh, it fails to truly connect us to those amazing creatures and visuals. A world does indeed exist, and it lies between the monsters and the emotion, dreams and reality, anarchy and order. Make us feel for the world, make us connect to it, so we too can suffer with pink, 
The visuals are usually praised as the best part. You think you can make a case that the weird characters needed more development? Each one represented something deep and meaningful. Fantastic designs and presents. Wouldn't you want more of them? Let me show you. Let me show you what happens when your dreams no longer need you. <laughs> right then, Lucy Lacemaker. The court will take a vote on if the film that lays before us can in any way show some feelings. Worthy feelings of an own. I will not suffer shitty. Those that bring forth not but pity for their lack of wit and mind. But here we rather find the result of hard and artist. I say the music here is joyous, but with that we have to say. Just wish they'd give us some more time to live. Living, constantly as you'd be Those little shits, they've done it now. We all deserve personality. <laughs> They could have used us far more often than they did But now they had to go their own way We are bored of Alice We want the header Just five minutes more, Your Honor Them and us alone It's a visual affair It never aimed to tell a story Rather a sprawling canvas of emotion With your splendor and your honor We can take that home Maybe there's more to the picture Just me Difference between nonsense and thrall, art and creation, genius and nonsense and creation. The evidence before the court is incontrovertible. There's no need for the jury to retire. of judging I have never seen before. A film so deserving of both love and wanting more. The way it makes you tougher makes you think it feel but suffer. Fills me with an urge to decapitate. I believe this film is apt with much to be revealed. Creatures should be adored as opposed to being feared. Tear down the wall.
oil. Bye. But that's it? We're stopping there? Well, yeah, the movie did. I didn't even get a line. Hell, I didn't even sing a song. What'd you even think of the movie? Well, the movie ended on such an open vagueness that it only makes sense that the review end on such an open vagueness. It's a review! That's literally the opposite of what that is! Okay! I liked it fine. Yeah, me too. A little full of itself, but good music and imagination. Fair enough. So now what? Well, since you got me, <gasps> I figure I could sing you one of my biggest hits. You mean? Oh, yeah. Oh, who lives in a pineapple under the sea? SpongeBob SquarePants! Corbett and yellow and porous is he? SpongeBob SquarePants! There's nothing cool nonsense, be something you wish. SpongeBob SquarePants! And jump on the deck and float like a fish. SpongeBob SquarePants! SpongeBob SquarePants! I mean, it's not gonna top that. <laughs> Check out the album!